Hey everyone, it's Neil Patel here for another Q&A Thursday video. I'm here with Adam Ladolce from Viewership. Hello everybody. And this week's question is... This is from Maxell Graves. And the question is basically, what are the steps in accepting Bitcoin for payment after service rendered? Basically, should you accept payment of uh, Bitcoin as payments? This is outside of my comfort zone. Yes. Taking Bitcoin so as payment. Before we get into how to accept Bitcoin, and the problem with answering that question is it's changing. A lot of providers are like, yes, we will now let you accept Bitcoin as payment. And then a lot of them back out and saying, no, we will not let you accept Bitcoin as payment anymore. So I'm not gonna really cover that much because depending on when you're watching this video, that's gonna change drastically. But let me ask, answer the first part, which is, should you accept Bitcoin as a payment? Yeah. And here's the thing, I do believe cryptocurrency is a large part of the future, a blockchain is, um, but there's a big problem right now with accepting Bitcoin as a payment. You as a business have a specific profit margin. That profit margin could be 5%, 10%, 30%. If someone pays you in Bitcoin, in one day, I kid you not, Bitcoin can go up 5, 10%, or it could go down 5, 10%. It can go up sometimes even, even more in a day. I've seen it go up like 20% in a day, and I've also seen it go down 20% in a day. In other words, if your business is cash rich and you don't need the money, and you want to take Bitcoin as a payment because you want to hold on to it in the long run because you think you'll make the most amount of money, by all means, you can do that. Hold on to it for five, 10 years. It may go up. You could make a killing. I don't want to tell you what's going to end up happening because I can't predict the future. Something crazy could end up happening. Right. Although I do believe it is the future. But what I would do if I were you is I would not take Bitcoin as a payment right now. Right. It's risky because it fluctuates so much. And it was like the stock market. What most people don't realize about the stock market is if you think, you know, back into the 50s, 60s, or 70s, or whenever the stock market was a lot uh, newer, there wasn't as many people trading. And because there wasn't as high of the volume, I'm not talking about billions, I'm talking about like trillions and trillions in volume, if not even more, there's no stability. You need that stability. So as more people start trading Bitcoin, buying, selling, transacting it, they'll become more price stability and you won't see it drastically swing up or down as much, but that takes a long time. When you start seeing hedge funds come in and institutions come in and investing and buying more Bitcoin, it'll provide more stability to the price. Right now, there's also a lot of manipulation that can happen from these exchanges that sell cryptocurrencies. A lot of them have been, quote unquote, you know, talked about in the press saying they're manipulating the price. I don't know yeah. if that's true or not, but these things are going up and down drastically. So if I were you and your business has a thin margin, I wouldn't accept cryptocurrencies cash as money. a payment. Cash yeah, money. Take cash payment, and then if you want more Bitcoin, use the cash to buy it. But at least you know if something happens to Bitcoin in that day and it drops 50%, uh, you know, I'm, I'm giving a crazy extreme, at least you're not out 50% and you lost money on a transaction. You don't wanna lose money because that can make your business go bankrupt. Right. So you want to ideally take USD for now, unless you're super cash rich and you don't have to worry about that. Take the USD, then if you want Bitcoin, use the cash, do the profits to buy more Bitcoin. Because even if you take Bitcoin as a payment, it, you know, if you live in the US, what you're supposed to do is, you're still taking some sort of currency. You're supposed to still pay taxes on it. A lot of people are thinking, oh, I can take Bitcoin as a payment and then just not pay the government taxes and claim it as revenue. <laughs> No, you're supposed to still pay taxes, yeah. claim it as a sale, a transaction, pay the sales tax, whatever it may be, whether it's for a service or a product. Um, and that's why I say it's easier just to take the cash, like USD, pounds, euros, whatever currency you're in. And then with your profits, you can then go and buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever cryptocurrency you want out there. And last I checked, Uncle Sam doesn't accept Bitcoin for taxes, right? So you have to pay cash taxes for Bitcoin. Correct, although I this think I read an article change. saying in Arizona or Florida or somewhere they're trying to also, the state is open to taking Bitcoin as a payment. I don't know if that's true or if that article was inaccurate, um, but it'll be cool if they actually do accept it. That would be very cool. So it sounds like if you're really into like having sleepless nights and having a horrible life, accept Bitcoin as a payment because that's what it's going to be like. Yeah, well, in, a, in a business, it's the it's currency currently is too volatile yeah. for a business to accept it if you don't have a ton of cash in the bank. Right. And as I mentioned, what I would do is take USD 
And then if you believe in cryptocurrencies in the long run, go and buy Bitcoin, hold on to it, but don't take it as your main payment source because it's too volatile when you have thin margins. If your margins are 500%, yeah, by all means, you can take Bitcoin. You have very little to lose. And I think it's a, a interesting bet, right? Because as a lot of successful people say, it's the internet currency of the gold. Or no, it's a, it's a gold equivalent for the internet. I don't right. know exactly what they say, but it's pretty much the gold of the internet. Sure. And if you believe in that, by all means, go and buy it. But I can't emphasize this enough. Low margins, do not take it, take USD. I've seen companies go bankrupt by just taking Bitcoin because it goes down drastically in one day and they're just screwed. Yeah, so let's hear from you guys in the comments. Have you ever accepted Bitcoin as payment? Leave a comment there below or have you ever considered doing that? We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you very much. And we may, an uh, if you have any more questions, leave it below. We may answer that question on next week's Q&A Thursday video. Appreciate you guys. Either way, I'll respond to your question and answer it myself. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching.